As soon as I shut the door, it just became personal. <laughs> so you've you've sat with me, so you you know how I act and you know how I talk and get information and how I breathe and all that stuff. So <clears throat> yes. I think that it's really beautiful that you are being exposed to everything young because I think that you are going to be so strong when you get older, but strong in a different way than we had to be strong, baby. You're learning knowledge. Yeah, you might be learning through pain as well as we did, but you're going to have the upper hand learning and knowing how to be able to do and to be who you are, to have joy and happiness and abundance in your life. You won't have to work through a bunch of shit to get there because you're already going to know so young. You know what I mean? That This stuff and the, this really cool, awesome stuff that we all get to be a part of. Because I feel your excitement. You know what I mean? You might have that mask on, but I can still feel. <laughs> so, I, I think that, I think that it's really, really cool. And the reason I said that is because that's, that's what I was hearing spirits say. And they're giving me the chills that. They're giving me the chills that um, that's what they were saying to me. They are in agreement with me as well, that it's good for you. So that's why your mom is your mom, because you needed to know this stuff young. Nothing happens by accident. Even the reason that you're here today does not, um, I keep getting chills all over the top of my head, my crown. Mm -hmm. um, spirit is so awesome. Um, So I'm not going to fully go into the reading, but I just want you to know that your dad is already here, okay? And he sort of made his presence known, his energy like very full, very two big huge hands came down, big two big huge hands, and like lift you up. And all spirit on that side has been showing me that, even saying, trying to lift everybody up because everybody's so depressed and so sad. They think that I'm gone. They think that I'm done for. Vito, Donata. <laughs> know where those words came from because I don't use them <laughs> but I have chills all over my whole body and it makes me so so happy to sit with you to be with spirit today that he I seen the big hands I'm trying to make sure I don't forget anything because at this point I'm just recording um he lifted lifted up the energy in the room and he said I was I was hearing like it, it's it was it's complicated but the way that he made the energy shift in the room and the way that I felt, it was like all at once I had the knowing and the, how much he can be a part of and do from there. That he was not capable of doing here. And, and another word I was hearing was complicated. So he was like, I would sort of, it was sort of like he was saying to me, like I was stutter a little bit or he would catch me up because you know I don't know if he could not keep up with his self he's telling me <laughs> and I feel like it's he's telling me stories mm -hmm. <laughs> like he's telling me instances and things he was supposed to do and dates he's showing me on the calendar with all these checks you know what I mean but like I wouldn't just show up <laughs> mm -hmm. I wouldn't you know what I mean like he couldn't he couldn't do the nine to five keep a calendar is what I heard yeah, that's what kind of what broke him down, I think. chills and everything so I know that I am tuned in tapped in turned on buddy 
So he, all of a sudden, like I had all this energy in my throat and I was seeing like breathing stuff and stuff, right? And then all of a sudden I could see energy. And he said, when I got to that point, when I got to right there, Tina, I decided that I was done, that there was no more that I could do here. And he was showing me the energy. He was showing me the energy that he wasn't ready to process. It was like, look like, he's giving me the chills. It looked like, because he wants me to say it like this, it looked like really cool smoke of like orange or something coming out of his throat. Like the energy, it was like a puff. Like, you know those videos you see where like the puff smoke will splash out and be different colors? Well, that's how his neck was. And he was like, what he has to process and what he has to do is not, it's done here. So it's like, from a soul's perspective, that's how we talk. From a soul's perspective, we know that we all love each other. We know that we're not far away from each other. We know that there's no such thing as time. We know all these things on the other side. We also have been human. So we know and remember how you guys think and feel. You know what I mean? So, so much. Big hugs. Big hugs. Like, pick you up off your feet. Big hugs. That's all I keep. Pick you up when off your feet. I close my eyes, I see a white silhouette of him holding her like this. Wow. Wow. So it's like he's telling me he he's able to have taken pictures and he'll be able to let you see them. So it's like it's like every moment we've ever lived is recorded. So through his memory, those memories he has, he can send them to you. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Nobody's ever told me that before. <laughs> But he showed me the tapestry, so I knew that he what he was talking about in the Hall of Records. There's tapestries of everyone's life that ever lived, and he showed me he can take a picture out of his and give it to you in memories. This happened um, like a couple of days ago. I was remember I was listening to his favorite music and remembering a lot of things that we used to do together on these days. Like he would play his music. Oh wow! And that. Kind of did he thing. like guitar? Did he like that sound? Did he like go 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 go? go, go. Oh, okay. And old school, old school stuff. Yeah. Because it's not like rocker, but it's like uh, what it looked like to me was electric guitar. Yeah. My uncles had electric electric guitars, and they played music when I was young, so I knew what you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. They go by your reference. <clears throat> crazy it is it's like and what I heard was like yeah they already know what you're gonna say before you say it I was like yeah it's like they can you know that's how they can guide you like I'll set when I get lost in the energy or in the words and I'll breathe you'll hear me and I'll get quiet well I'm tuning back in to tap in to listen to what they're telling me because it'll like they'll carry on the conversation do you know what I mean mm -hmm. he said I want you to I want you to it's like a 1945 something inside I don't know kind of car so he's what I'm feeling like is he like old cars or whatever you yeah. know what I mean and he's he's showing me like you're gonna put the radio on the best channel you can get you put it on there and tune it in he, he shows me old school way like it looks like an antenna but I seen it shooting out this way and had like it looked like a the, I could see the energy wave coming out so it sort of looked like electric shock coming out of there but all of a sudden, he showed me that too stopped. Okay, so it's like, I shut myself off. He is showing me this energy and stuff. He's really showing me some cool stuff that he understands now why the choices were made for him to leave. Why, you know what I mean? Like, and, and, and he's showing them to me in these really neat, colorful kind of ways with energy, like smoke coming out of areas and stuff. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. It was like the decisions that need to be made here on up energetically for his growth, for him and for everybody around. He's because I was supposed to leave. I was supposed to leave early. I feel like he's just trying to share with me that it's like past life, karma, where I was at on my path, like just that stuff that I, that I understand and I know, you know? He has a beautiful energy and when I tapped into him, like he sort of overloaded me with it. So that's why I'm all about to cry. <laughs> 
So what it's like is like when you pay attention and tap in, take that breath and tap into his energy that you remember and that you knew just by saying his name, it took my breath. Because they can give you, he just thanked me. He just dumped so much love onto me at once that it made me over emotionally, you know, you can't help it. It feels, it's so, we physically, it brings us to tears because there's no other way to express a energy that can take your breath. Do you know what I mean? But it's about remembering that your energy and tapping into him. He's energy. He's really high vibrational. So when we're down and we're, we're depressed and we're sad because we're thinking that he's dead. And see, that's just all part of believing that fake ass matrix shit, right? Like we are really live energetic beings and they live on and they just live at a higher energetic pace. We're in the process of shifting physically higher energetically. So to me, I think it's super cool to everybody that's actually on the other side right now because they're all part of it. I just like never will fully accept it and have that type of energy because he was never like a spiritual or energy person. I know everybody has energy. No. Yep. And I just would have never accepted what you just said. No. Or, yeah. Which you're oh, I get it. Yeah, I get it. And I really get it because he was just showing me all my old school family. My dad, everybody dressed in her old gear and like, you know what I mean? All my old, all my peeps are like that too. They didn't have spiritual beliefs. They didn't have, so now I understand why I've seen that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's what I'm tapped into. It's what I'm tapped into too. If I was a psychic medium who believed that he was de- dead and it was sad and I was connecting with you in that way because I used to do it, then I see more and of them as that, in that vibration, okay? Um, I was learning through the times of my reading that I would feel somebody sometimes and it would be real bad. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, he's still in the, the heroin addict is still in the hell, shit. You know what I mean? Like, okay, what do I tell this person? I can't say to them, hey, dad's not coming from this great energetic space. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Even, even people that make mistakes have a place. Even people that do things that they didn't plan on doing and didn't really intend, but it was all the way it was exactly supposed to be the way it's supposed to be. They have a place. And I try to tap into a really high place because of who I am and what I am. So I can see those things of him that even he didn't know about himself here. Do you understand that? It's what you want to tap into. I'm like, I'm really going high in the dimensions. Energetically is what I'm talking about. So that's how I can perceive. Mm-hmm. He can show me this stuff. He can show me that, you know what I mean? But we don't need that kind of confirmation. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, questions. Because he's like here chilling. The energy is not shifted or anything. How does he feel about the funeral? Like, how does he feel about that? What is his name? Richard Richard Johnson. Johnson. Richard Johnson. Richard Irwin Johnson. Is, was he really, really big? The way I keep seeing him, he's like sort of over me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, dang, dude, you're big. <laughs> six, six four. Jesus, three fifty. Really? Six four, three fifty. Yeah, that's big, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's how all of his friends are. Same size. So the energy shifts a little bit in my heart a little bit. So I don't know if anybody had issues or even had guilt or whatever or any of that stuff. But I can feel it in my heart area. It doesn't feel too good. But honestly, what I feel like, and then I see papers and stuff. So I don't know if there was planning or what it is, if there's papers still to come. I don't know what any of that means. It sort of looked like going through papers, though. It didn't look like, I mean, I do see someone signing because I was like I was asking, okay, does some something have to be signed? You know what I mean?
So I don't know what was different, but it feels good. Because I feel like, I feel like I'm hearing like expectations or but I don't know what he's really, because it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, so. She's a weird going over his dream mama. He kept telling her in her head that he felt guilty because he had to go decide because his, his mom wanted him buried and we want him cremated. Yeah, that's true. why he's because I'm like, well, I can't make your mind. What's up this? You know what I mean? Like it was very, huh? How does he, sorry. No, yeah, yeah. So what I'm feeling, if that makes perfect sense, and what I'm feeling in my gut is like, as your mom said it, the energy moves for me. It was nice, and it feels, it feels like that has more to do with your guys' beliefs now than his. He can see everything now, and he knows why. You know what I mean? And he's clear-headed about it. That's what he said. I'm clear-headed about it. Um, he's weird because it's cold right here. Oh yeah, you. I can feel him. I can feel him. Yeah. He, I, and every time I say something about that and the energy, the way he shows me, I feel like he's telling me to school y'all on how to feel him. Do you know what I mean? Because he's around. He wants you to know. He's, he's like, my presence was always big. I heard it real fast. My presence was always big. So he, his presence is here. His presence is with you. It's, these are all the things he's making me say. He's going to make me cry. <laughs> so he is like really like forceful. Like, come on, I'll set with you. You're going to channel. So all that stuff I just said was him coming through me. Mm -hmm. Just right there that minute. Let me light the candle here. I, I've been, he, I, he has come in the room right away, so. <laughs> mm. It's like freezing cold right here. <laughs> I think I'm sorry. Uh, I guess. Very good. Keep tapping in. So he makes me feel like he says really fast. Like the things that we went through as an experience in your life and our lifetime together, you have to work through. You know what I mean? And so I feel like if you can channel and work with him in this way, that you will be able to work through it better. Okay. Um, you'll be able to understand things, you know, and yeah, it's going to be from like this more grown up place in you, this part of you where your heart is so big. He makes me feel like where it's so big. <laughs> There's this part of me that he's showing, <laughs> showing that he sees in you. He's like making me take my breath though because of the way that it makes me feel, but it's like he can see your soul and it like makes him so, the feeling I get is like, so cool. I can feel you. I can see you. I know you. Oh, you have the chills on my whole body. <laughs> super cool stuff, you guys. Super, super, super cool. Because he never noticed it. Really? On, whew, on mm. here. Oh my God. Mm. Okay. He never noticed how intelligent she was. She was always afraid to talk to him. He never really got to know the real her. So that's probably why, like, he's making me feel so emotional telling you all that stuff. <laughs> right. It makes perfect sense. And it's not like he's forcing emotion, but it's love that I'm feeling. It's so, 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 so strong. Mm -hmm. When you can feel that love from a person for another person, it's like setting in magic. It's really, really, really cool. So I just feel like he's really telling me, baby girl, that he is with you. And you have endless opportunities to practice and learn how to communicate even through him. I feel like he's saying that anything that you want to do, he's more capable of doing it from where he is. In so many ways, just like my father. 
So it makes me even more emotional to hear him say it like this and make me feel this way and guide me in the words. He can be endless, endlessly there for you in this way. It's, it's like, it's hard for me to say this too, because you're here with your mom and you've been through loss, but you know, it's, it's exactly the way it's supposed to be. And so you'll know why one day for yourself, you know what I mean? But you'll understand it more then. It's not like we don't choose to have these feelings of loss. It's not like we're not here to choose to do that and to mourn and to go through and to be us, to be the way that we grew up being, you know what I mean? In my family, that's how it was. And you went to the funeral. So lately, I haven't been going to funerals. So it's very weird for me. It's very off. It ha I had a little guilt of feeling like I was disrespectful for not going because that's how we always paid our respects. It was big in my family with my mother. And, but we always had a lot of loss. So now I get to pick and choose whose funerals I'm going to, you know? <laughs> like I just lost a cousin last week. And we just had another funeral. So it's nonstop. It's crazy. It's crazy. Did he really peacefully? Because we wonder if he... I feel like they released him from the hospital too soon. They found him non-responsive and they rushed him to the hospital and worked on him for two hours. So he passed at the rehab center. I'm just listening and looking like I can sort of like look at the situation mm -hmm. and I keep feeling like he went in peace like literally just lights out do you know what I mean um so it was very peaceful mm -hmm. um it was like he showed me in the breath okay so it was like that it was, if it was, I want to say, if it was like breathing in, it was hard and dark, but on the out breath, it was like so light <laughs> and beautiful and it felt really good. Okay. So that just shows me he, that's when he crossed over. He's in a light. So he kept FaceTiming her and his mom in the middle of the night and he told his mom, why'd you leave me here? But we couldn't control it. They wouldn't let us come see him because there were cases on the floor. So they wouldn't let us go see him. Yeah, so you don't have any control over things like that. You know, you just don't. And that's just common sense. That's just right. me saying it. But right. what but I, I feel like, honestly, is that he showed me he went peacefully. But what he perceived around him was not. So I don't know if y'all had autopsy. Did y'all do autopsy or anything like that? Why did they say they worked on him for two hours? Why Why would you work on somebody for two hours? Is that protocol? Because they said his heart. Because it was like chaotic. He was showing me out there. So it was like, he was like, huh? <laughs> it kind of thing like, why are y'all all acting like this? Like they didn't know what to do. It sort of feels like <clears throat> because they noticed that he was not responsive. So they're all rushing around and it's all crazy because, yeah, I don't know why, though, that they would work. Like, did he have bruises or anything on him? We don't know. Nobody knows. We yeah. haven't seen him. And... Like, why would they? Why, why would? So what it looked like to me was he watched the whole thing go down. And it was like it was chaotic because they were like, oh, we just realized and they didn't want to look negligent. Or, you know, because what are you going to think? No family's there. Nobody's there. Do you know what I mean? Like, and what, th those are the feelings that he's giving me. Like, I'm looking and I'm like, huh? What? Like, why y'all okay. act like that? You know what I mean? Like they overreacted for the situation. Basically, yes. Yeah. So, it makes me feel like, because maybe they, maybe they were thinking, was somebody going to think they did something wrong? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like they released him too soon. He should have been on at the hospital still on a heart monitor. So they didn't have him on anything. 
trachea removed. He had his trach, and then they were coming in to do his dialysis because he did it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And they were coming in to do his dialysis, and they found him unresponsive. This is what we were told. I didn't speak to anyone. His mother did. So that's crazy. That makes sense. So when they saw him, they called 911 and they took him to the emergency room and they told her that they worked on him for two hours and they couldn't revive him. Maybe that's why I seem like, because I feel like he showed me discoloration across here, but I didn't know if he was talking about breathing because I know when I breathe in, it was hard to breathe. You know what I mean? Because he had the trach. Yeah, it was really hard to breathe. Um, But it was like lights out, lights on. Do you know what I mean? Honestly, that's exactly what he showed me. Um... So when I see that, I know that the soul knows exactly where to go, what's going on. Even if they have to like go get some healing in, da 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 da. He makes me feel like there was a lot of things that he perceived to be a certain way that were not. So, um, when I what he's showing me is like it was hard in his own skin sometimes. So it was it was not always easy for him here. Um, his body was destroyed. Really. Remember they were going to amputate his feet? His skin was really dry. Oh my God, that's right. He that's right. could barely lift his hands. So there was, so that makes sense too with a lot of stuff I was seeing and feeling too. But yeah, it looked like they were like, huh? Because it was like one person on this side, one person on that side. Will you hand me them tissues behind you, baby? There's nothing worse than have a runny nose inside a mask. I Let know. me tell you. That's awful. Um... But he makes me feel like I, sh I I need to say to you, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I am okay. <sighs> Did he have a really hard time saying I'm sorry? Because I'm like, <sighs> I want to say it, but <sighs> wait a minute, I can't say it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I get this energy all over my body, like holding you down, like you can't say it. It's a pressure on you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He's just having me say it again. <laughs> so he's been through so much. He makes me feel like his family is not like it's chaotic right now or something too. Yeah. He's telling me like it's very chaotic. <clears throat> So he said they're just continuing in old energy patterns, but they're also finishing old energy patterns. So they have to be finished for them to be finished. That's how he said it. Mm -hmm. He's also telling me that he has a guide here with him. He just showed me a guide walking up by him and he tells me that he is helping with communicating and doing all that stuff with me and with all of us in the room. Now your guide and your guide comes forward. Ooh, you have a big guide over there. They're all telling me collectively that we should use the tuning forks today. Mm -hmm. My guides came in this side too. So that's another part of it I didn't tell you. So the whole room is full. <laughs> Do you have any other questions that you want to ask? Um, the black dip eye just says random question. Is she a woman? Yeah. Okay. Yes, baby, a girl. She's got big, huge energy. Her dress is actually perceived to me to be black. It is a dress. Yeah. It is huge and puffy. Okay. It's it's puffy. Okay. I gotta tell you guys, it's, it's big, but it's flowy all at the bottom. It's not like she's standing or sitting. It's sort of like she's just like chilling, floating up there. I seen her come in and out. I I did like a double take back at her because I was like I could feel her like whoa. <laughs> She is actually showing me that her skin is of color, okay? So I don't know if you've noticed that yet or not, or knew that or had that feeling that she's showing me that. It's so funny because it's a very sister-like energy, and she tells me that her hair is way prettier than yours. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So 
this also feels like a higher aspect of yourself. And that's why I see it the way I see it perceived above you like that too. You're telling me. You're schooling me a little bit. I learn from everybody. I learn in every reading. You can tap into her at a young age, she says, and learn to wield energy. Okay. So do your breath. Good. Do your breath. Tap into her. Think of her. Breathe in, breathe out. And on that breath, it's like she can drop down in. Okay. They also are showing, she's showing me specifically automatic writing. Do you know what automatic writing is? Yeah. You can channel that way through automatic writing with her. Okay. Yeah. When you sit so there. So when you right. sit down, you channel, you breathe, you keep tapping into her, you practice tapping into her all the time. And then when she taps into you, practice, write what she gives you. Like that guy we saw. But it's about practicing. It's about the ritual. It's about the belief. She said it's about the magic that you dream of, that you think of, that you can lose at your age. She said, so it's your choice whether to hold on to the knowing and to wield energy early. You actually will be able to help. She actually shows me how, well, who was that guy related to you here? That you guys brought up? My brother. Your brother. My brother. Okay. So you're the what she's talking about in energy, he actually carries that childlike peace in him that he could do the same thing. So it's about this belief in us. It's about these things that a lot of people choose to lose where they don't have this knowing. They they wouldn't even I had a lady today that's like, oh no, I don't believe in past lies. She has five, six kids. I don't please believe in reincarnation. I don't believe in da-da-da-da-da. But there's some of us that have this. You know what I mean? Some of us have chose this. Some of us have evolved as a soul at this point to have it. Wield magic early. I've actually been teaching my girls little things. Little things. Also, Tara. Are you doing Tara cards? I've been looking at Because she's showing me Tara. But, but um, you know, that's that's not, you know, that's up to you and mom. But she's showing me, uh, specifically, it feels like before communicating with her, it feels like you wanting answers. She is an aspect of yourself. So you can get answers that are high vibrational, good and clear and positive information from her. You wouldn't be tapping into Tom, Joe, and Mo walking in the room and you being a psychic medium opening up and hearing what the guy over here that's not so nice has to say versus the high vibration energy. It's where you tap into. It's what you perceive, okay? Any other questions? I can see all my answers through numbers. I know. I love numbers. I see them constantly. I looked over at your thing at 444. Literally all, I, every, That's just I this morning, 333 three, three, on my, um, and I looked over there and when you go back on the recording, you see, cause there's, I thought it was just 333, three, but I can't see now, but I did see 444 four, four earlier, but that's how I am. I'll look at something instantly and it'll be 333 three, three on the way here, you know, or I'll look at a sign and say 260. That means something. Look it up. 260. Boom. It's dead on with what I was just thinking at that moment. When I seen it, so I'm like, I love you, source. Right. I keep seeing four, 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 and one, one, one. The more that we create within ourselves, the more that we know who we are, the more that we create, the more that we create our life the way we want it to be, the more we create our universe. So we make the space we live in. And as soon as you realize the whole of it, that if everybody collectively was going in and being creative in this really beautiful, positive way, 
before you know it, there is no wars because everybody doesn't want war anymore. Enough people believe that now so we don't see it happening. It's like that. So when we learn that we are this spark of light within the whole universe making it happen, it's phenomenal. And they just channeled every bit of that through super, super, super high energy level. I keep seeing 12, the number 12, like 12th dimension. 13, 14, like they're being silly. Like I seem like a Lego up mm. higher. It's like they're showing me it's all happening slow, but it's going to get there. That's what it feels like, but it's going to get there. So I think that they're just referring to you earlier when you were saying, you know, it's just been so hard on us and it's just, it's going, it feels like it's going really slow, but. It's going to get there, but it's more than one layer. And it sort of makes me dizzy because it's like, oh, this is going on in this layer. And then on this layer, this is going on on that layer. And then on this layer. And then they look like all these interchangeable movable layers, but it's earth. So it's all these different motions. They're showing. All right, you guys, do you have any more questions? They're showing me lots of water, lots of water. You guys make sure you're drinking lots of water. Mm -hmm. Um, bottled waters, you know, mm -hmm. healthier versions. Awesome. So much. So much, so much, so much love, and, and, and I do feel like, you know, um, just appreciation. So lots of appreciation for, for the involvement in all of your lives together on a soul's perspective, okay? So it is. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Got me crying in here. <laughs> Alrighty.